Hello everyone, my name is Thomas and I'm going to share a little insight on how to successfully connect and program the Kessel A360W E-Series with Apex Fusion um, using different profiles and your variable speed uh, outlets. Um, and just real quick, I am by no means an expert, but I have put in a lot of time trying to figure this out, and it has been frustrating, which is why I want to hopefully um, pass on a little knowledge that I've learned to um, some of you guys so I can hopefully save you the headache of going through what I went through. Um, so the most important thing is you have to have the VDM module um, if you don't already have it built into your Apex. So if you have an Apex Lite or an Apex Junior, you're going to need that VDM module, um, which runs about 100 bucks. I purchased mine from Amazon. And what's that, what that's going to do, it's going to give you access to um, some new features here, obviously the variable speed port. Um, which will allow you to control the two channels you need to control on the Kessel, which are, they're called the intensity and the color. <clears throat> um, just quickly look at the, the Kessel here when you get it. You're going to have two, uh, I guess, stereo jacks, I think is basically what you plug into them right here. Um, the output is basically going to be if you want to uh, string a bunch of Kessel lights together, you'd connect an output to another input to, you know, whatever, the output, input, so on and so forth, however many Kessels you have. But we're just going to go really simple today and assume you just have one Kessel like me. So the only um, uh, port we're going to use on the Kessel is the input. And Again, you're going to need to buy an additional cord for this to plug into your VDM module. Um, it's basically it just looks like a, a headphone jack that you plug into here, and then out comes an Ethernet uh, jack that you plug into your VDM module. So I don't know. I guess you can get creative and and make your own. I've seen people do it, but I paid the 20 bucks or whatever it cost. Um, and was done with it. So you're going to plug that in here uh, and then into your VDM module and then that's going to allow you to control the different channels. Um, and if you look on your Kessel, you already have manual control over that. Um, so you have a color channel here and you have the intensity and dimming channel right here. And what I definitely recommend you do is before you even hook up your Kessel to your Apex, um, just plug it in, shine it at the wall, and play around with these two knobs. And what you're going to realize is um, your color knob here, it ranges from 0 to 100, 0 being completely blue, and 100 being completely white. Um, so as you turn the dial, from 0 to 100, and I'm just giving it, it uh, there's no numbers on here, but on Apex, that's how it, it uh, recognizes it through numbers. So as you turn the dial from blue to, uh, to white, you'll notice, obviously, the color changes, and it has different blends of lights, and I'm sure someone else can give a better explanation than I can, but I think that's good enough to get you started. Over here, the dimming uh, and intensity knob goes from 0 to 100 as well. However, you have to note that once you go past, uh, I believe, 14, it shuts off. So basically from 0 to 14, there's not enough power to kick on the LEDs. So really your range is about 15 to 100. 15 being um, the dimmest possible and 100 being the brightest possible. Um, so I just encourage you to play around with that a little bit while shining it up against the wall or over your tank and kind of experimenting with the different combinations. But I would focus on one channel at a time so you get the hang of it and uh, you're more comfortable with it. 
So because we do have those two channels, we do need to have two channels in Apex. And that one stereo slash Ethernet cord that you plug in, it's going to um, run both of those channels. So you can see here I have one channel called color and don't worry about uh, this part. So I have one channel called color and you're going to name this whatever you want and I have one channel I call intensity here. So color is going to control my color. So how blue, how white it is and that was that uh, knob on the left here. The intensity is going to control the brightness, so how bright it is. Um, for example, if you want to make a sunrise, you're probably going to start off with uh, a dim setting and gradually bring it up to a brighter setting, like a sunrise. So that's where this is going to um, come into play. Now, I think the problem I made when I was setting this up was I wanted to get everything all squared away before I even had the Kessel. So I did tons of research on different profiles, and I had all these different profiles, and I loaded them on, and I had no idea what I was doing. So I think to get started, all you want to do is start off with one profile. Um, and then you could build off of that and you can program a sunrise, you can program a sunset, you could program a midnight, whatever. So let's go ahead and do that. So once you have your VDM module plugged in, if you needed it, um, plug in your Kessel. And then you're going to go over here uh, in the Apex Fusion, you're going to go over to Profiles. And if you don't have Apex Fusion, um, the regular Apex uh, interface is, is pretty much the same thing. <clears throat> so what you'll do, and these are all my profiles I have so far, but yours, if you don't have any profiles yet, it'll be PF1, PF2, uh, etc. So just go ahead, pick a blank one. Um, and we're going to start off with the color. And again, color the blues and the whites. That's all we're going to focus on right now. So go ahead and name it whatever you want, but I definitely recommend putting a color before it so you know that this is the color channel because you remember I'm going to beat this into you that there are two channels, color and intensity. So name it color and I would just call it color one because we're going to start off real easy. For the type, um, all the lighting stuff is going to be the ramp type, and this just means um, the amount of time that the light will fade in and out. So if you want to set a sunrise um, that you want it to last for 60 minutes. So what this is telling us right now is that when you start this profile, um, the lighting, the color, is going to start from blue because it's zero. Zero is blue, and it's going to end at white, which is 100. And it's going to do all this within 60 minutes. So if you really want to experiment and play around, what you could do is you could set a ramp time of five minutes, keep your start at, at zero and your end at, at uh, 100, and you can actually watch your light change from blue to white within five minutes and that might be a good learning experience but I think it's it's, it's pretty uh, pretty easy so we can just move forward so let's start easy let's just do 60 minutes here start intensity um, you could start at full blue if you want um, I think it would be a great idea to just get started so you can get the feel for it um, but I think more realistically you could start at uh, I don't even remember what I have on. I would just do 30, and then for the ending color, let's do 80. So it's going to start off mostly blue. It's going to end mostly white. And that's your color profile. Really easy. So then what you do is you'd hit uh, Send to Apex. Success. It was sent successfully. Um, and there we go. We have a color profile.
and that's real easy. So now, there's one more thing we have to do is we have to set up the intensity profile. So click on another blank one. Again, you can name it whatever you want, but I, re I recommend naming it something um, you'll find easy because there are two channels. So let's just call it uh, Intensity 1. And we're going to, of course, change this to Ramp because it is a light. Now, remember what we talked about was that the intensity, it has a cutoff um, for dimming. So once it hits 14 or whatever, it's just going to turn off completely. So you want to start it at uh, around 14, or you could even start at zero, but it's just not going to kick on until the ramp timer you know, goes through that, uh, that cycle or whatever. Let's go easy. Let's start off with the 60 for ramp time again. And I want my lights to kick on immediately when I activate this profile. For end intensity, uh, I want to end at 80. So it's not going to be uh, the max brightness. It's going to be pretty close though. But again, play around with it. Do the ramp time to 5 minutes. Sit and watch it so you can see exactly what you like for your tank because everyone's different um, depending on how big or small the tank is you're going to want a different intensity um, to start with and to end with most likely but just for starting put the ramp time at 60 start intensity uh, 0 or 14 and then end, end intensity whatever you want to end at and we'll send configuration and that's it so you have your two profiles here you have one that controls the color the blues and the whites one that controls the intensity how bright it is now you want to go to your dashboard or you can just go to the outlet setup um, so now we need to kind of do the programming for your variable speed outlet here. So as you can see my two channels here um, on auto, one's controlling color, one's controlling intensity. So let's go ahead and click on that little gear icon. And um, set the control type to advanced. And then this is going to allow you to put in your uh, lines of code here and name it I just named mine uh, VS for variable speed and then light spec um, icon you could put whatever and you always want to do fallback off to begin with and, and what this is going to tell you is that the lights are going to be off unless there is some stuff that tells them to turn on. So if you didn't have any of the if statements, then the lights would just stay off because nothing is telling them to turn on. Um, set off, this is basically just, well, I think it's just telling the lights to set off when they're not on. So that's what that means. Fall back off means, you know, honestly, I don't even know, but let's, <laughs> let's continue. That'll be another day, I think. Um, so because we just have one profile set up, we're just going to have one statement set up here. So we have color one is what we called it. And what this is telling us is that if the time is 8 o'clock in the morning to 1 o'clock in the afternoon, then color one. And this is saying that between that time frame, activate the color one profile, which we already created a couple minutes ago, that tells us, okay, well, the light is going to go from blue to white. And that's it. So then you're going to hit send to Apex. Uh, I'm not going to send mine because I don't want to mess up my profiles. But you'll hit send to Apex, and that's going to be a live profile. 
So you just set up um, a simple profile on how to color, how to control the color of your Kessel light. So one more thing to do, and then you're going to be all done, is go to the intensity profile. Again, this is going to be an advanced control type. Um, I call mine VS Light Tint. So it's controlling the, the tinting, i.e. the uh, intensity, brightness, dimness. Fall back off, set off, and then again, you're going to have one uh, line of code to start. And make sure when you put in your, sorry, we're not doing the color, we're doing the uh, intensity profile, or whatever we named it. Make sure, I believe it is case sensitive, so if you have capital letters, you need to put that in. Um, so same thing like the color profile. Uh, between the hours of 8 and 1, then it's going to run the intensity profile, which we determined was going to start at uh, a dimness of 14 and work its way up to 80. And this is going to coincide with the color profile. So go ahead and hit update to Apex. Um, go back to your dashboard here. And on yours, it's going to say uh, color one, intense one right here. And that means that you're in business. So once you get the hang of it, then you can start building on this. So then you could make a color two and an in, uh, intensity two um, pair of profiles to control a sunset uh, setting. And you could add on and make a midday setting and a moon setting and so on and so forth. And then once you really get the hang of it, you definitely want to rename it to something pretty easy. I have mine set uh, sunrise daylight, nighttime, and moon. And with the sunrise, I have the color sun. With the daylight, I have color day. With the nighttime, I have color evening. And then the moon, I have color moon. Um, and I think that is it. I think, I mean, I think that's good enough to get you started. I, I know I put in a lot of time of uh, researching it. But play around with it. You're not going to break anything. Nothing's going to explode. Um, your apex is going to be fine. You could probably even do a backup of, of your apex. I, oh, I know there is a way, but I don't know how to do it. I haven't ha had the need yet. But uh, anyways, good luck. Um, hopefully I'll get a shorter video on, but I wanted to go into a little bit of detail and, ma and make sure that I explain things um, as much as possible and, and I'm sure I didn't have to explain certain stuff and I know that I explained uh, probably the same thing multiple times but uh, better safe than sorry. So if you do have any questions feel free to post a comment and um, I'd be more than happy to, to take a look or refer you to uh, some research that could help you become an expert and then you could tell me what to do. Anyways, thank you for watching.